Last March, former Marine Corporal Josh Maloney became the first Iraq War veteran and only the sixth American to receive a human hand transplanted from an organ donor. He wanted to touch. He wanted to be able to feel again. Four months later, his hand is starting to work. I can already feel a lot of things. Um, I can feel hot and cold. Josh served two tours in Iraq, but came home and lost his hand in a training accident. He tried prosthetics, but like 40% of the military's hand amputees, Josh found prosthetics too bulky and unreliable to use, but embarrassing to go without. Just to, to walk around outside and be missing a hand, and you know, it was extremely obvious. Josh is part of an experiment in which the military is trying to learn if replacing the hands of injured soldiers and Marines might itself someday replace the use of prosthetics. The operation at the University of Pittsburgh was difficult. 11 hours to connect new bones, muscles, nerves, and skin. His occupational therapy is harder still. Six hours a day of merciless pain. It feels like a thousand needles. No, it's very painful. But the real experiment is how doctors are preventing Josh's body from rejecting the new hand. During the operation, surgeons also transplanted bone marrow from the donor, hoping to teach his immune system to accept the hand. Here's why that's crucial. I can tie my shoes. I can dress myself. Every other hand transplant recipient, including the first, Matt Scott, a paramedic instructor, has to take two or three anti-rejection drugs every day. But the drugs so suppress his immune system, he lives with a higher risk of fatal infection. If somebody in a room has a fever with something like that, I should stay away from them. The drugs themselves have bad side effects. But Josh, thanks to the donor's bone marrow, takes only one anti-rejection drug so far. According to Colonel Bob Vondre, who oversees the experiment for the Pentagon, this could be the breakthrough that makes hand transplants possible for more veterans. That's the only barrier is the rejection. If we can solve that, which it appears we can, then why not? Josh now sees a day when he can touch, play baseball, or hold a child. What do you see in this different future? The same future I saw before I got hurt. I don't feel broken anymore. And now, as every nerve and muscle comes alive in the hand of Josh Maloney, so does the hope for a new way to treat amputees. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Pittsburgh.